Welcome to another meat review. It has been a hot minute since I've done one of these for a commercial meadery. Uh, this is my Man Made Meat Extras channel that you're watching right now. If you'd like to see some extra content, aka why it's called the Extras channel, um, feel free to subscribe. This is where I post random stuff, sometimes uh, tastings and whatnot that I just go through. I am tasting a commercial meat today from the very famous Superstition Meadery. This is the Spaceship box. It's blueberry. It's a blueberry cider. I almost said that was fun to say. Um, it's apple cider with blueberry juice. It's 5.5%. Um, I've heard great things about it. Cool label. One thing that I, I like about Superstition is that they have really cool labels and designs. My big beef is I can't reuse this super easy. It's like laser printed on and I'm sure there's a way to get the laser print off, but not that I know of easily. Anyways, Currently capped, does come with a swing top, so I'm not gonna polish this bad boy off tonight. They also include on here, um, for, for not a great thing, but it's just them probably trying to follow the rules, a nutrition facts. And I just won't even talk to you about it because I think it might make you sad and worry about your consumption of meat. So anyways, let's open this bad boy up. Never had this before, obviously. I normally do like a formal paper review and I like go through and give scores. Honestly, not gonna do that this time. So sorry if you're offended, but this is just a fun tasting. See what this thing looks like. Oh, look at that color. That is beautiful. Dark, dark purple ruby. Man, you can, that is not see-through. That's okay. Great carbonation level. Very blueberry heavy. You get a lot of that um, earthy character. Darkness. Mm. Let's just get right into it. Oh man. Viscosity, huge. Um, blueberry character is also huge. It's tart. This has a, a fair amount of tartness to it. Yeah, it makes my mouth pucker. Oh. Yeah, there's so much tannin, which is attributing to the puckering side. There's also a lot of acidity in here. There's a little bit of sweetness, but the sweetness is not enough to counterbalance the acidity that we uh, perceive here. It's blueberry. I mean, it is blueberry. Very rich, concentrated blueberry flavor. It's obvious that they are able to get a lot of that character from the juice, which is helpful. The <laughs> tartness of that blueberry and the little bit of acid, malic acid profile that is in there um, is pretty, heavy, for lack of a better term. Um, I feel like there is definitely honey character here, but it's just so hard to find because you're diving through this layer of sour or tartness. <laughs> it does get easier to go through the tartness as you drink it more, but it's definitely tart. I say that and then I keep drinking more. And it just it still hits me every time. So it's refreshing, it's blueberry. They've got a really nice blueberry flavor. And then, you know, obviously this says on here, they blueberry juice, apple cider and blueberry juice. So it seems like to me that they have an apple cider base that they use and then probably come back through and back sweeten with maybe a little bit of honey. Why am I saying honey? I don't know why my brain said honey. There's no honey in here. Blueberry cider. Why my brain, my, my brain is searching for honey. Silly me. Let me back up and say this. For what it is and that the lack of um, honey character, which is that thing I was, I think I was wishing was there, there is a very apparent cidery blueberry profile. And I'm just not a fan of the acidity that is there. There's definitely like sweetness, but the sweetness is not enough to fill out the, the, the um, I keep saying, almost said honey again, <laughs> the acidity we're fighting. So acidity and sweetness need to match. It's crushable. It's just tart. Not quite up my alley uh, for things, but it's interesting. Again, sorry for saying honey so much. This I shouldn't have. Um, I did get this. My so I got this in the the mead aisle um, at my local one of my local liquor stores, and uh, they don't have very good options. I'll put it there. Put it like that. They they've only got a couple things, um, and so I saw this and I was like, well. I think they just saw superstition and were like, okay, let's just chunk it in this mead area, even though it's not that. But interesting nonetheless, worth a try. Again, not mead. <laughs> I'm sure I'll have corrected myself in the video earlier, but fun to try. 
I highly recommend to um, see if you can purchase some Superstition. I've had some really great stuff from them before. Uh, I This bottle is like 20 something bucks and I'll be honest with you, I don't think I would buy it again. Uh, I am say, sharing this with my friends soon. Uh, they're coming over in a day or so, so it'll hopefully still stay good. And we'll see what they think, but that's okay. If I'm rating it, I think my normal score is out of 70. This thing's only because the extreme tartness of it, like a 47 out of 70. It's, it's okay. It just is hard. I like, I don't know that I'm going to be able to finish off this whole glass. I'll be honest with you. It is not as nice as I want. Anyways, if you've tried this before, let me know. I'm curious what you think. Um, what you think of it. Some people, I'm sure somebody loves this thing. My reviews are my personal opinions. Please don't think they're fact. If you would like to uh, purchase their mead or their blueberry cider, feel free to get on their website, go see them in person in Prescott, I think Arizona, and uh, go support them. I think you will enjoy their stuff. They have a lot of really great things, but yeah, this has been fun. Not a mead. <laughs> Thought it was. I don't know why I convinced myself it was, but nonetheless, a interesting beverage. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.